When things get real in the Europa League, it is time for the final and there can be only one winner. Who's it going to be? It's Liverpool, they face Manchester City and it's live right here on EA TV. This is it. The majority of fans are inside the stadium now and the tension is palpable here ahead of the UEFA Europa League final. My name is Derek Ray and with me in the commentary position is of course Stuart Robson. It is Liverpool facing Manchester City. Well Derek, this should be a top class game between two excellent teams. Whoever gets control of that midfield area should win the game but I think this is too close to call. So the starting lineup for Liverpool. Alisson begins in goal. Trent Alexander Arnold plays with Andrew Robertson in the wide defensive areas. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. No possibilities in the centre. Holland. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. And so the starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson is the goalkeeper. Rodri plays alongside Kevin De Bruyne in the centre of midfield. And handed the task of playing up front is Erling Haaland. Andrew Robertson. What can he do with it now? McAllister and a good challenge to bring that attack to an end Manuel Akanji now with Silva Holland Foden Ball with Rodri. Walker. Pass and move. Pass and move. Their opponents really struggling to get a look in. De Bruyne. The referee has decided to give the free kick decision the way of City. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Trent Alexander-Arnold. This is Salah. Alexander-Arnold. Alexander-Arnold. Endo, Elliot, still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Can he put them in front? Oh, not to be! Stopping a certain goal. Walker, Akanji has it. Gvardiol, Silva and does well to keep it in play Bernardo Silva City moving the ball forward what can they do from here De Bruyne and Bernardo Silva has it must be well somehow the goalkeeper got to it Firing it over. Danger still on. De Bruyne. Opportunity to go ahead. Tremendous defending to stonewall him. Foden. Chance to finish. Oh, 
a vital piece of last-ditch defending. Virgil van Dijk. So, the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. So, back underway here into the second half. And they continue to advance, and a lot of options here, but nothing comes of it. Silva, on to Holland, Jack Grealish. Now he must favour the cross. Well, we can give them high marks for their passing, but can they make this pressure count? Oh, it's a really well-timed challenge possession of the ball with authority Virgil van Dijk Wataru Endo well-timed tackle opportunity to deliver the cross pulls it back piece of defending 30 minutes to go then Foden and a goal for Manchester City they forge ahead in this final let's see what it means in the grand scheme of things Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. Well, Klopp has to make some changes now just to get his team back into this. Well, back on the way. Will that goal have the effect of stinging Liverpool into action? Salah. Rodri. Kevin De Bruyne. Now a potentially dangerous position for City. Holland preferring to go infield. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Andrew Robertson. Van Dyke with it. Virgil van Dijk. Here's Robertson. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Endo. Virgil van Dijk. Regained possession. Phil Foden. Fine play, and maybe it'll set something up. Magnificent challenge to win it back. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. There might very well be late excitement. Five minutes left, and the margin just one. Liverpool trailing late in this game, but who knows? What happens next? Manuel Akanji. Pass after pass, happy to just keep possession and frustrate their opponents. Erling Haaland. 
Holland. Grealish. Can he finish them all? Well, I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. And now we can say it officially. They have won the UEFA Europa League. Well, great emotions here, Derek. Just look at the joy on these players' faces. They've been absolutely brilliant today.